the Aaron big night on the offensive end, but the eight turnovers hurt. Uh, just what went wrong uh, tonight? And do you feel, feel like you guys are rushing just a little bit, especially early? Yeah, I think a lot of them were, you know, unforced turnovers um, early when they were in the zone. Uh, kind of got us a little bit. Um, but in the game, I mean, we, we, gave, we, we still had a chance to win, and uh, we can't give up, you know, three 30-point quarters. They scored off a lot of our turnovers, and uh, I do think we're we're a bit sloppy. Yeah, and it seemed like things were kind of hot and cold, streaky, and, and whatnot. To what do you attribute that? Um, I mean, I think it started on defense. Uh, when we made our runs, um, we were getting stops. Uh, I think in the third or second or third quarter, they scored. They hit a free throw for like four minutes, and yeah, we're scoring, but you know we we're getting stops at the same time. So. Um, I think we played better offensively when we were, when we were getting stops and getting out and running. Sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, what was the discussion about Anthony signing at the beginning of the game? I just want to get your thoughts on uh, his play because he, he was on a tear. Yeah, I mean, um, him, him and Dame, those are guys that you pretty much, you know, you want to try to take out the game. But, I mean, Jeremy Grant and Josh Hart had great games. And, um, but when you're playing those guys, you know that you know one of Dame or Anthony are going to be on the court um, at all times, and you just try to limit what they get. And I think we did a good job on, on playing those two guys. Obviously, they made some deep ones, but um, I wouldn't say that either one of them really won them the game. I think Josh Harden and Jeremy Grant did a lot, and then uh, Justice Winslow comes in, you know, gets offensive rebounds, gets second chance points. Um, I think that's where they won the game. Not their not their two star guys. I think we as a team. I mean five. For 18 and 9 for 22, and Dame was 1 for 8 from 3, and Anthony was 3 for 10. I mean, we did what we were supposed to do on those guys, but um, Jeremy Grant with 23 and Josh Hart with 19, 8 for 11, 5 for 11, Jeremy Grant's 10 for 13 from the free throw line. And that's those two guys, I think, did, did, a, lot of, did a lot of damage. Sean Cunningham back here. Fox, you kind of alluded to it just right there. Is that what's going to haunt you most about this one as you kind of move on? Yeah, I mean, I think we, we gave it away. I think, um, like I said, we had silly turnovers. I had a lot of turnovers today. And um, then just second chance points. Um, I think that's where we lost the game. And obviously, we want to we be able to keep teams off the free throw line. We want to be physical defensively, but you know, not physical to where you're getting fouls called. And obviously, some were hit or miss, to say that. Um, but you want to keep, I mean, 30, I think they were 31, 30 something. 30-something free throws in a game is, is too many. Chris, your last bucket came with 4.51 left in the fourth quarter. What, what do you focus on when it comes to trying to make that adjustment so you can uh, score points when, when you need to late in the fourth? I mean, I had a charge call, and I think I missed a three in the corner. I went in and out. I don't think they did anything spectacular. At the end of the day, I have to be able to put the ball in the basket. Fox, you mentioned the amount of free throws, uh, giving up a lot of foul calls, especially in that first quarter, too. Second quarter, when the rhythm got going, that's when the run started. D is it difficult to establish a rhythm in a game when there are so many foul calls like that? Uh, definitely. I mean, like you said, whenever the game was just going and there weren't, the second quarter, we didn't foul much, and they scored 19 points. So we, we gave up a lot of free throws. And in the first quarter, at one point, they had like 22, and they were 8 for 8 from the free throw line. So almost half their points were free throws. So. Um, just as a team, we have to be able to guard without fouling. Right. When it comes to those offensive rebounds, little things that you said was kind of a big thing for Portland there, on your guys' end, is that communication or being locked in? Yeah, I mean, um, with as much you know switching and how many pick and rolls they run, um, it's, it's just communication. You have to see who's not on someone or, or just talk and just find a guy to box out. I mean, we, they have some elite rebounders, guys who, you know, like per 36 because they're not playing a lot. Um, they have guys that crash glass, like I said, Josh Hart, Jeremy Grant, obviously Nurk, uh, Justice comes in, like they all are rebounders. They're all really good offensive rebounders, and uh, we didn't do a good job at that. And then offensively, um, how do you feel like you guys did hitting the paint and specifically like getting Domas involved? Um, I don't think we were great offensively, and it's funny that we ended up with 27 assists. I don't think we were, we were very good offensively today, and um, I think we got staggered a lot and, and things like that. but. I think, uh, like I said, I think those other key reasons, and then the turnovers um, are just reasons that we lost this game tonight. A few more guys, far right, go ahead. Hey, Darren. Um, a little bit of a rough start um, to the game, and then it was like a light switch in the second. Is there something that you're saying during the timeout, or you know, what type of conversations are you having with the guys? Uh, obviously, Mike's guy is going to 
call an early timeout, but I just think we were sloppy offensively. Um, I think that's where it started. Um, they went to a zone in the first, and I think we had four turnovers in the first quarter. Um, and that's where they got a lot of their points off of our turnovers and, and then free throws. Um, like I said, in the second quarter, after we cleaned that up, we, we, we did a, I think that was close to a perfect quarter. You know, uh, Under 20 points for them, and we scored over 30. That's a great quarter, and that's what you want to replicate. That's what you want to try to replicate or get to as close as that as possible. Last two, James, and then we'll go to Jason. Yeah, Darren, on the positive note, uh, you and her both really played well offensively. Uh, I think it's 11 of 18 from three combined. Just how is that sort of chemistry building between the two of you? Uh, I think it's going well. I mean, uh, we're learning where we where each other wants it, but I think where um, it really helps us is the fact that we have someone like Doma, someone who's, who wants to set screens, someone who wants to get you open, uh, get you the ball in the spots that you like, and at the end of the day, you just make shots. Um, and then for us as a team, we just want to touch the paint. And if we don't have a layup, get as many threes as we, get as many kickout threes as we can. Jason, last question. Fox, this being game one, obviously there's a lot of anticipation and build up for it. Does that make it harder or easier uh, to, to kind of turn the page and just move on to the weekend? Oh uh, yeah, I mean we have a back to back now, so you know you got to let this one go. Um, this was a winnable game. Um, I mean I think it was tied up with however long we had, uh, so we, we we had a chance to win. Um, so we didn't. We we watch film, we go to practice, and uh, we get ready for this back to back we have this weekend. All right, thank you, Fox. Thanks, man.